Hello everyone and welcome back to a video that I've actually been wanting to do for quite a long time. So I just decided to go ahead and do it and I'm going to be explaining the main backrooms websites and cannons you could say. As of right now there are four main ones that people tend to follow and there's no correct one to follow. So it's really up to you which ones that you want to read into or look up or whatever. But yeah, if you want to learn about the different Backrooms canons, three different websites, and one that's not a website, but it's an upcoming canon, and their differences, stick around. And if you don't, well, you're probably kind of lame. Let's get into it. So a question I get a lot is, well, where do I, being brutally, get my information for my videos? And the simple answer is the Backrooms wiki dot. This is the first website that I want to talk about today because it's quote unquote the most official one. Again, I'm not saying it's the only right one, but I'm saying that it's the one that tons of people look at for their main backrooms information. The Wikidot has levels from level 0 to level 999, as well as enigmatic levels, enigmatic entities, sub levels, and tons of other stuff. The Backrooms Wikidot also has an official Discord server with around 5,000 people that are joined in it, and it's pretty much just got a load of different Backroom stuff to choose from. So if you're looking for a pretty well put together, organized, quote unquote, official looking Backrooms lore website, then the Wikidot might be the place for you. Also, it's what I use mostly, so if you like what I do, then you'll probably like this. The next website I want to talk about today is called the Backrooms Fandom. If you watch me for a while, you'll know that sometimes I like to dabble into what the fandom has to offer because the fandom has loads of different levels to choose from that aren't on the wiki dots or they're kind of just crazier or wackier in a way. I kind of like to upload a fandom video every once in a while to spice things up you could say, but the main draw to the fandom is its accessibility and that the average person can create stuff over there with less of a screening process. It's kind of like a Wikipedia, in a way. Obviously, this accessibility could lead to some downsides, but it all depends on how you look at it. The first several levels on here are pretty much the same or similar to the Wikidot, and stuff doesn't really change much until you get higher in the level number, because the fandom has levels all the way from level 0 to 9 quintillion. So, and it already has lots of levels in each cluster, like cluster 1, 2, and 3, and so on. Contrasting with the Wikidot, which only has levels from 0 to 900 to 99, and the Wikidot's levels aren't really there from like 300 to 999, it's only a few sparse ones. So the fandom does have more levels. And if you're looking for more accessible, more fan-based type backrooms lore, then this would be the place for you. Next up is the last website for the video, and it's called the Liminal Archives. This is the website that Ferrante used to use in his videos, and it's pretty much really similar to the Wikidot in some ways, but with some slight alterations that make it pretty unique. For example, the level count for levels starts at 1 here, and not 0, and the names and descriptions of the levels are different than the Wikidot and the fandom because the level descriptions and entity descriptions have more of like a mysterious, regal type writing, I would say. I wouldn't say more professional, but it just seems more mysterious. And all the levels here have something called the BFI, or the Bassett Fraser Index, which is pretty much the way that they classify all the different levels. It's pretty cool, not gonna lie. There are also other liminal spaces here and other liminal worlds, limb space type things that aren't even related to the backrooms and are kind of their own thing with their own lore, which is pretty unique from any other website that I talked about today. So if you want a more liminal, focused, mysteriously written kind of backrooms lore, then the Liminal Archives is probably for you. The last canon that I want to talk about today is the new backrooms canon from Kane Pixels. And I'm going to go ahead and include it as a canon because lots of people like what he's doing and are calling it the main canon already. Obviously, it isn't the main canon because there is no one right canon. It's all the same concept with different interpretations and it's up to you to choose what you want to listen to. It's kind of like how cars that you drive go from point A to point B, but they all look different in different ways. Anyways, the Kane Cannon, or the Kanan as I like to call it, is the ARG type horror found footage series 
that Kane Pixels is making his YouTube videos about. So far, the videos have gone over a few levels, including the famed level zero, and is pretty much rewriting what the backrooms is meant to be. The main thing that separates the Kanan from the other canons is that the backrooms was actually made in a concrete set way. In his canon, the government created the backrooms through a group called Async. On the other backrooms websites, there's no real concrete set distinguished way that they say the backrooms is created. Some people like it that way, some people don't. It's just, again, your preference. But this canon is still being developed and added to, and there's not much out so far, so I definitely look for more of it to continue to grow and expand. If you want my full opinion on the Kane videos, check out my analysis on the found footage that I made down below. But yeah, if you like found footage, ARG type stuff, and a concrete way on how the backrooms was made, then you'll probably like Kanan. So yeah, those are the four main backrooms canons that people tend to side with. I can't stress it enough that there is not one correct canon to follow, and that's what makes it all so unique. You know, getting to hear different ideas from everyone is what spices everything up, and it means that you're free to choose any of the canons to follow, which is always cool. Like I said, I make videos about wiki.levels levels and sometimes fandom levels, so if you like what I make, then you'll probably like those websites. But if you like what Ferrante makes or what Kane uploads, then you'll like the Liminal Archives or the Kanan. It's all up to what you prefer. I wanted to make this video for a while because I don't even think there's a video explaining this stuff, and I know a lot of people can get confused about it. There's lots of confusion between mine and Ferrante's canons and videos, so I hope this kind of cleared things up. So yeah, that was my explanation on the Backrooms Canons, the four main ones. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching the video and supporting me. We are on the road to 200k. We are really close to 200,000. I mean, it's literally so close. Thank you all so much. Thank you to my patrons and channel members for supporting me a little bit extra. I really appreciate it. Go check out my second channel, Toogly, to watch a story time video that I'm uploading either today or tomorrow. I think you're really going to like it. It's the first of many that are going to go up on there. Get ready for that. Thank you for everything, and uh, if you're still watching, comment the keyword Pogly in the comments, and uh, let, let me know that you're still watching, and if you do that, I'll drop a heart on the comment, because it shows that you're a real one to watch to the end of the video. Anyways, thank you all for everything, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.